Today we'll be busting 10 programming myths. Trust me, it's going to be fun. I believe it will be valuable to you, so sit back, enjoy, and let's get started with myth number one. You need to be good at math to learn programming. Is that true? The answer is no. However, you need to note that mathematical thinking really helps in programming. With mathematics, you are able to build this problem-solving skill that will assist you in your programming journey because a programmer's aim is to build a software that solves a certain problem. And to build a software, you need to think and plan your approach. In any project you'll build, the main focus is on logic, problem-solving, and building an efficient program. Math doesn't play a huge role in development. Sometimes in your code, you'll be needing basic arithmetic, like addition and subtraction. Or you need to use the PAMDAS rule, nothing complex. You don't need to know how to solve the unsolvable Riemann hypothesis, just don't neglect mathematics. It takes months to be a good programmer. That's definitely wrong, it takes decades. You will not wake up in the middle of the night with superhuman programming skills. It takes years to become a good programmer, and even the best programmers don't consider themselves the best programmers, because this field is constantly evolving and new languages and technologies are being created so a programmer needs to keep up with those new developments. Learning never stops, for any field, not just programming. A single Python tutorial won't make you a great programmer. You have to be curious and explore new libraries and modules, or even explore a new language. Remember, programming requires consistency and patience. Only nerds and geniuses do programming. We all know the typical stereotype of a programmer that sits all day in front of a computer screen and code, locks themselves in their room, and has straight A's. This is a common misconception we all think about, and no, programming is for everyone. So don't worry about being the top in your class, while it is important to get good grades, it's not a major factor to consider when you want to start programming. If you are curious about learning programming, go for it, regardless of your academic background. There are tutorials out there that can help you get started, and YouTube is a great platform to learn something new. The important thing is to have the will to start and the will to continue, because who knows, maybe you'll like programming, and eventually it will be something you'll love. You need to have a college degree to start programming. In fact, you don't need a degree to learn programming and land a high-paying tech job in tech companies. There's a lot of self-taught programmers out there, as well as a lot of platforms that want to help self-taught developers to succeed. Here are some options to get started as a self-taught developer. You can watch tutorials to get started. Like here on YouTube, you can find a lot of tutorials on specific programming languages. You can purchase online courses that teaches how to become, for example, a web developer from A to Z and how to ace programming interviews. Remember, you won't only learn, you need to build your own projects. These projects will be very helpful for you when you want to land a job, because you will be posting them on your CV. Is college degree a waste of time? So if you have a degree in computer science or pursuing one, don't regret your decisions, because college has advantages. College education can improve your skills in critical thinking and research. It allows you to work on tight deadlines like handing your assignment on time. College allows you to find networking opportunities. Who knows, maybe your computer science classmate will help you land your dream job at a big tech company. Or because college and universities are recognizable around the world. They have a lot of network with companies. So university can help you in finding and landing your first job. So even if you can learn how to code all by yourself, the traditional way of getting a college degree can help in different ways. But remember, as a programmer, you always need to learn and adapt to new technologies. Programmers will be replaced by AI. We hear this all the time, and that's false, of course. At least for the next 10 years, maybe. Basically, AI is in its early stages, and the job of a programmer isn't just writing code. And people think that programming is about coding only. And with the presence of ChatGPT or other language models, they can generate code in a matter of seconds. We need to clarify that programming is not just about writing code. It involves critical thinking, analysis, and decision making. Also, there is creativity and efficiency in developing software. And AI currently lacks all of that. I believe developers can leverage AI tools to assist them in their work, not to do their work and replace them completely. Coding is programming. This is a big misconception and everyone thinks programming is same as coding. I actually did a detailed video about this, so link in the description, but I will give a small idea right now. Coding is the process of writing code on an IDE utilizing programming languages, just like what I'm doing in front of you right now. However, coding is a subset of programming, because programming involves a lot of structured steps to follow. To build a software, you need to plan it, 
design it, then translate these ideas to code, then test the software, then launch and maintain that software. So programming involves a lot of thinking and decision making, while coding is the process of writing code and it is a subset of programming. Learning programming is a waste of time. It is? That depends if you're someone who's completely not interested in it, then the answer is yes. Other than that, programming is definitely not a waste of time. It equips individuals with skills like problem solving, critical thinking and creativity by building projects and solving real world problems. With programming, you are able to build innovative technologies that can reshape the world to a better place because the world is now driven by tech and an understanding in programming can really give you a massive opportunity in landing high paying jobs, explore new technologies and even build your own tech. Programming languages are too difficult. Now, if your goal is to learn the most hardest programming language called Malbolg, then yes, it is quite a hard journey. But really, there's a lot of programming languages that are beginner-friendly, that allows you to get started with programming. Take Python for example. It is a very beginner-friendly language, and they say if you know Python, you know everything. Python can give you a great understanding in the concepts of programming, like variables, loops, functions, and much more. These core concepts can be found pretty much in any programming language you'll learn. If you want to learn C++ after Python, you'll see that the syntax is much more complex, but the concept of programming is still there. Coding is boring. As programmers, we use coding to translate our ideas into machine language and get a functional software out of it. But the satisfaction comes in the results. Programmers leverage the power of programming to bring their creative ideas to life. Because with programming, you can build a lot of creative and engaging projects. And of course, to build these projects, there is a long process of thinking, problem solving, debugging and analysis. But that doesn't blur the idea that the output of a successful program can bring joy to a programmer. And these are 10 myths I wanted to discuss and share with you in this video. Comment below, is there anything you want to add to a specific myth? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable and I hope you enjoyed it. Now I invite you to watch one of these end screens that will appear right now. And I hope to see you in one of these videos. Oh,